Hello dear friends. As you know, the contents that I offer you on our channel are all strategies that have been tested personally for weeks or even months, and I am confident that they provide a good reward risk ratio. Our only goal here is to help you become more successful in financial markets with every passing day and every transaction you make, and I thank everyone who appreciates and supports our goal by liking and commenting. Please don't forget to like, to subscribe, comment and share the channel on your social networks so that it can reach a wider audience. In this content, we will examine a different earning model. Please keep in mind, there is no such thing as 100% success whether you trade in the spot market, futures exchanges, or any financial asset. The biggest goal and earning model in the stock market is achieved through a trader's psychology, patience, and sticking to a strategy determined in a disciplined manner. Anyone who claims to tell you a model that will guarantee 100% win and no loss is definitely lying. By accepting this truth and continuing with patience, without giving into greed after losing a trade, will definitely increase your capital. With this brief and most important reminder, let's increase our trading experience. In this video, we will use no indicator other than the volume indicator. We will only use the volume indicator as an auxiliary factor. The most critical point in this strategy for us will be the blocks at the bottom and top of the price. These blocks are the regions where the power of buyers and sellers is equalized and they try to break the price in one direction. Although identifying these regions may seem difficult at first, it can actually be learned quickly. Now I will show you a few examples of these blocks that I mentioned. As you can see, these blocks are formed at the peak and bottom points of the price. These are the regions where the market makers, who are the large players such as banks, fund companies, institutions, and individuals with large capital, wait to buy or sell. What small investors like us need to do is follow the market maker's movements by observing the price visiting these block regions. Remember, if everyone in the market moves in line with the influence of their capital, they will always be profitable. And keeping these things in mind, let's see how we should follow a path on the chart. As you can see, the price is making a lower level here and turning around with the intervention of buyers, causing the price to go up again. In such cases, impatient and inexperienced traders often buy near the middle or top of the rising trend, thinking they missed the rise, and of course, this move will likely result in loss. However, it is possible that the price will revisit the marked, untested block and rise again. In such a trade, the price will be caught at the relatively lowest point, and since the stop loss level will be very close, a small loss will be incurred if the expected projection is not realized, and the trade will be abandoned. Now let's see how to make the right trade. Yes, the price has come back to the yellow block. Buyers are probably waiting here and the price will go up a little or a lot. Limit orders are also placed between the upper and lower parts of this block. Small investors must observe the movement here patiently and carefully and enter the trade with the confirmation of volume. Now let's see the development. As you can see, buyers are showing their strength with this candle. How do we know this? The high level green block on the volume indicator below this candle formed, and the price broke out upward from the yellow block. A long position can be tried after the close of this candle. The trader has two options for the stop loss level. The first option is to place the stop loss level below this candle's low, or below the yellow block as a professional trader would. Although a close stop loss level may look attractive, it is not ideal because it is possible for large investors to make a strong counter move to liquidate small investors. For this reason, I always place the stop loss level below the block.
let's look at two more examples of a long position. High volume. Hi, volume. Now let's look at examples of short positions. I first want to show a specific example. We find a peak level that is suitable for our strategy and we draw our yellow block. Now we are looking for a red colored column with high volume to enter the trade. As you can see, the price has visited the yellow colored consolidation area again, and it is trying to move away from there with a high volume red candle. At this point, we will enter the trade with the closure of the candle and follow the market maker. To protect the majority of our capital in case of an unexpected counter move, we will place the stop loss level above the yellow block. Now, let's see how it develops. We also set our profit targets in two parts, one at the nearest support level and the other at a more distant support level. Unfortunately, the trade hit the stop loss level and closed but I still want to show you the development of this trade, so please follow along. I would like to explain why I continued. Actually, all the target points we had in mind when entering the trade were 100% accurate with the price movement as we expected, but even if the large market traders showed us the direction of the price, they disqualified small traders by making a liquidation trap. This is the difference between big players and small players. For this reason, even if you trust your knowledge and experience, never enter any trade with all your capital. Never use leverage without a count, and never open a trade without a stop loss order. Let's now look at another short position example and finish up our video. Please do not hesitate to support us and don't forget to hit the like button. You can also contribute to the growth of our channel by subscribing and sharing our videos. Until next time.